All right, so here is my RC Powers F22 version two. I uh, just completed it today, it's ready to fly. Just have to charge up the battery and take it out. They said on your first one, don't waste any time trying to make it look nice, painting it and all that, so I really didn't do much. And you can see smudges all over it and everything. So on the next one, I'll try to uh, do a little bit more like a best in show, but for this one, I just wanted to get everything together. But anyway, um, there's no ailerons on the wings, but the elevators are actually configured as ele uh, elevons, so they can do roll and pitch together. And then, uh, unlike the stock setup, I actually added the rudder servos. So you got a twin tail rudder, and then um, just like in the real F-22, when you're ready to land, I can flip this switch here on my controller, which is normally used for flaps, and it causes both of the rudders to go inward like that, so you can uh, slow the plane down for landing. And then when you're doing that, you can still have rudder control by moving the rudders a little bit. So. So that's the flight controls, and then the motor sits in this little hole and is basically just a propeller that's mounted backwards, and awesome enough, this prop is just small enough so that you can rotate it past the bottom, and the bottom of the blade does not hit on the tabletop. So in other words, if you put it down on its belly, you don't have to worry about breaking the propeller, which uh, happened a lot on my last plane. Went through a lot of propellers, so. The uh, inlets actually let air breathe through the center of the aircraft and back to feed the propeller. And because of where the propeller is situated, when you, you have these extra little um, home base shaped sections on the elevons, so when the air comes out of the propeller and goes over those, it gives you a little bit of thrust vector. So, anyway, the battery is inside this compartment, which is hooked on with these little rare earth magnets that you can't get to focus on. So there's the battery, and that's just the battery compartment. And then if you need to get into the other electronics, there is a little hatch there. I don't have any free hands right now. Actually, I'll just set this down upside down very carefully. That's what the bottom looks like. And you can see the carbon rods that I put in to add some strength to the foam and the wings and tail. And this compartment opens up. The same thing with those little round rare earth magnets. And there's the ESC, electronic speed control, for the motor. Those three wires right there go to power the motor. And the little thing with the light there is the... I'm having trouble focusing yet. There we go. That is the radio transceiver. And all the servo cords are plugged into there. So, that radio transceiver, on my first plane, I spent like 60 bucks on it. And on this plane, I guess China finally started making them or something, and it was only 10 bucks. So. Anyway, so that's it. Uh, my battery is not charged enough to fly it, and it's not a good time for me to fly right now. So I'll have to do another video if I can ever get anybody to go with me and film this thing flying.